friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new kind of journaling called Journaling on Mass, I think it's called. Um, I was inspired by Adele Toomey to do this. Um, she posted, she's posted some videos on her Instagram channel, or her, uh, sorry, YouTube channel. I'm not sure if it was, I think it was on Let's Get Inky rather than Inky Quill. I can't quite remember though, but um, then she posted up a follow-up video recently on her Patreon of her update on how it's going. So I thought I would give it a try and um, yeah, so let me just quickly explain what it is. And I think she was inspired by, or like she didn't come up with it, but Shannon Green came up with it, I think. So basically you take some kind of book, art journal, I'm using a magazine just like Adele did, and um, you label each page as a certain category. So let's find a page here. Um, say this page is, um, take that out, is like chairs or something, or furniture. Um, then you would cut out pieces from a separate magazine or whatever and uh, make like a collage page of chairs or furniture, whatever the topic is, on for that double page spread. And um, you can also like paint or do stickers or whatever you want. I'll probably do mostly like stickers from my stash or random bits and bobs, maybe washi tape. Um, uh, but mostly like magazine cutouts because I have lots of magazines and stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be using a magazine for this. I'm going to use my tab punch by We Are Memory Keepers to punch out a bunch of tabs to label each of the pages. Um, I might glue some of the pages together. I picked this particular magazine that I had in my stash because it's the pages are a little thicker so I might glue some pages together I might not um, I might take inspiration from some of the pictures that are already on here so this one has food so maybe this will be like a food page or if like it's something like this where there's no particular topic I'll either paint it so that like it's like it will be a red page or a pink page or an orange page or a white page or I'll just pick whatever topic like words or something. Um, yeah, so I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, just like Adele did, I'm gonna put like washi tape on the ends of each page. Some of them will be taped together, some just washi tape, and it'll be a long project, but I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. Um, and I think it'll be really fun, just like a different kind of art journal. And, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to explain this really well, but there's something about like when your mind is cluttered and um, you don't have a, like control of a lot of things in life that you want to like clean your house or organize your house because your mind is cluttered and you want control over something so you organize your house for instance. Um, I know that sometimes happens to me, I just get so anxious that I need to clean something, which sounds crazy probably to some people, but it's just the way my mind works. Um, so I think this is kind of like a way of like organizing things in an artistic way. So like I said, each page is going to be a different category and it's just going to be a page full of food or full of the color pink or whatever. So I don't know if that makes sense. It's maybe it's like a type A kind of personality kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I hope I enjoy it and I hope I'm able to get it done. I think it'll be like really satisfying to have this project finished. But yeah, so let's see how this goes. Thanks for watching and keep, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so here you can see all of the different things that I've cut out of magazines. I kind of just went on a little spree with cutting things out. I definitely could have done more, but I think this was a good start, and it ha I have a lot of categories to start off with. And I'm just going to take some papers that I've already cut into and use those to make my tabs, and then just handwrite on a white piece of paper the categories. Um, you might have noticed in the beginning, I kind of organized my, um, cutouts from the magazines, like my layering papers or whatever. 
I organized them into piles that were all like each other. So flowers or people or whatever category it was so that I could just take a pile and stick and plonk and it would be easier that way. And I did like it that way for sure. Um, like I said, I'm just doing one category at a time. Like I don't need to finish each one, but I'm not going to lab like start out with labeling all of them just because I don't know what my magazines will have in them. So I want to cut out things first and then see what I have and go from there. I'm just using a really generic glue stick, um, nothing special, but I will Mod Podge everything after because um, the glue stick is not that great, but I didn't want to use like expensive adhesive. Um, yeah, and some of them I do just use Mod Podge from the beginning. So I just wanted to show you a little snippet of how I did everything. I don't show you all that I've done, but I will show you in a couple seconds um, or a minute or two the overview of everything that I did do. So this is a post-it notes page and I just grabbed a bunch of post-it notes and um, glued them on a page. So lots of different types of pages. You don't just have to do magazine cutouts. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you in a couple seconds exactly what I've done so far and you can be on the lookout for more videos of progress and process videos for how far along I am in this project. It's really fun and easy and like you don't have to think too much about it like at all, which is wonderful. And I think it'll be really good for me if I'm having, if I don't have inspiration to just sit down and I want to do something creative, I can do this and it's really simple and inexpensive and fun. So thanks for watching and continue watching because there's still more to see in this video and I hope you become inspired by this. Thanks. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you how far I got in this, in my little session. So as you can see, I added some tabs at the side and I'm just gonna continue to add them as I go and not like put them all in right away. But so far I have the flower section, I have the vehicles section and I put washi tape on each side. This was um, some good advice that Adele gave for um, so when you flip, cause you'll be flipping the pages a lot. So it's just, I don't know, easier that way. Let me just uh, zoom you out a little bit. So yeah, this is the vehicle section and I'll just kind of show you close up washi tape on the side and tabs and I just like hand wrote what each one is. This is the post-it notes. I finished this page and I just used like this giant thing of Mod Podge to put it all on. Um, this is food, almost done, not complete, but getting there. I'll probably do more food pages. This is people, and this is going to be washi tape, but I haven't put anything on it yet. So it's a good start. I love like how crinkly it is, and I love those sounds and how it feels. I'm gonna do something with the front cover, not sure what yet. Here's my cat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it so far. So keep you in the loop for um, my progress. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.